you set me up. Uh, you catch on fast. How did you get out of these handcuffs? Trade secret. Well, I commend you on your ingenuity. Now that you've had your fun. Oh! <laughs> I haven't had my fun yet. <laughs> Come on. Give me a little kiss, hmm? Come on, sweetie. Stop Give it. me a little kiss. What are you doing? Come on, baby. Oh, you're easy. You're easy. Look, you have made your point. Oh, have I? Yes. Wanted to get even with me? Well, you have. Oh. <laughs> no, not even close. Not even close. Unlock these handcuffs now, Ted. No. Not until you've had the pleasure of going through exactly what you put me through. Did you come up with anything? Well, unfortunately for Sawyer, Boswell... Give me that. Boswell did an exemplary job of questioning him. Even before you arrived, there was not one question that was out of line. And he was advised more than once that he was allowed legal counsel. Well, he was fearless in the questioning process, and he seemed genuine about not wanting his parents to have to pay extras for an attorney when it wasn't necessary. Hmm. We should call me that night. I didn't think there would be a case until Connor and I B. McCabe walked into the room. This is a very different tone under McCabe's questioning. He was really going for Sawyer's throat. I like this. You are actually excited about going into the courtroom again, aren't you? Yes, I am. And I'm honored that you asked me. Well, you were the first attorney that came to mind. I don't know why, but just... Oh. I'll get it. I'll get it, Rosa! Hi. Hi. I'm Aurora. Come in. Sorry to bother you both so late. Is everything all right? Everything's horrible. I have something that I need to get to Sawyer, and that's why I've come to see you. You gotta keep cooler than that, Sawyer. You don't want to lose your mind in this place. I love you, Warren. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. I never thought I'd get up the nerve to tell you that. Can't you at least tell me how you feel? PJ, I'm your teacher. I'm your employer. But most importantly, I am your friend. No. Yeah, much more to me than that. You've always been more than that. Well, maybe in your mind I have. Now I care about you a great deal. And I'm sorry if my feelings have confused you. No, I can tell. I can tell when I look in your eyes that you love me. BJ, you have literally turned my life upside down since I've met you, and I love to spend time with you, but I, I can't be your lover. Don't you see what you've been through? I mean, that's the last thing that you need right now. You're very confused. You need time. I'm not confused about you. Lauren, I'm tired of lying about my feelings. All those years that I lied about Frank, what he put me through, how much I hated him. I'm not gonna lie about you, Warren. I love you. And you love me. Please say it. Say that you love me. All right, Ted. I understand exactly how you felt. 
Now let me go. You almost ruined my life. One night with you, and everything that I believed in almost went right out the window. What? It went out the window, Ted. That's why I left you here. That, that was my point. I left you here so that you could learn to appreciate what you really have. Become a real man. Angela, your idea of a real man is someone who cheats on the woman he loves. Love and passion go hand in hand. Passion is not what we had. What we had was sex. Sex, pure and simple. I don't recall it being pure. It certainly wasn't simple. Yeah. Well, it was wrong. For both of us. How can I get that through your head? That is, I, I don't do this kind of thing. Hmm. Too hot for you to handle, huh? Oh. <laughs> Angela, I can damn near handle pretty much anything, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my shoes on here, and I'll walk away, and I'm not looking back. Fine. Go ahead. Go back, crawling back to your... Ice princess and tie the knot. Right around your own neck. Go ahead. Set up a clean, dull, boring life with the uh, 2.5 kids. But keep in mind, every time you crawl between the sheets with your darling little cat, you're going to think of me. No, I'm not. I'm going to forget about you. I'm going to forget about that anything happened between us. That's not the only option here, Ted. Yes, it is. I am not going to cheat on Katrina anymore. Finito. Well, you don't have to. You and I could go for it. Together. What? Yeah. D tell Katrina the truth. Break off the engagement. I mean, Warren doesn't live here anymore, and well, you and I both know how great we are together. I mean, it, think about it, Ted. Every morning, every night. No, 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 absolutely not. Come on, no. We, deserve it. we deserve each other. I forget it. No, as of this moment, it is over. Do you, do you understand over? It's done. Not even a goodbye kiss? can't do it, can you? You know you can't walk away. Wait a minute! Theodore, take these handcuffs off right now! No, absolutely not. gonna leave me like this? How do you expect me to get out of this? Well, I don't know. Maybe a friend will stop by with a bus saw. I have a better idea. Let your toenails do the walking, babe. Ted. Sayonara. Ted! Ted Capwell, I hate you! Wait, wait, I have, wait, I wait, have wait, been wait. waiting a long time. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. You have been doing this. I have stopped. I have to stop. Didn't you notice? Why do you want to ruin a beautiful moment like this? Ken, I... No, I'm CC. Ken is in Bangkok. Hong Kong. Whatever. He's there and we're here. That's our moment, baby. Come on, that's our moment. Well, I, no, I... I know it's a beautiful moment, and I'm, and I'm so touched by the way you feel. But I'm in love with him. Dear Sophia, I'm sorry I got so upset last time we talked. I thought I had my jealousy in check. I guess I couldn't take the fact that you're spending time with Cece. I love you, Sophia. And I hope you know by now that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I didn't 
want to have to bother you, but I just couldn't sit still in my house thinking about Sawyer being locked in that cell. He's the only person who's ever been able to understand me, and now I can't see him or talk to him. We'll get him out of this, Aurora. When, Mr. Capwell? I know what it's like to be locked in a cell. I feel as if I'd been locked in one my whole life, but that was the only life that I knew. Not Sawyer. Sawyer's never been alone like that. Aurora, you said that you have something for him. Yes. This. It's a letter, and I wrote it, and I need to see it, Sawyer to see it. I thought that maybe it would help him get through all of this. I'll see, he gets it first thing tomorrow morning. No, Mr. Cabwell. He has to see it tonight, please. All right. As a matter of fact, I have some questions to ask him. If you want to come with me, I'll try and arrange a meeting for you. Can you do that? Well, I can certainly try, Julia. All right, let's go. Right. Sophia, come on, it's still early. No, I could play these games years ago, but I can't play them now. I was just going to say... We were just leaving. Uh, right. You've done you've embarrassed me in front of Mason and Julian. Who was that girl? I don't know, and I don't give a damn. I'm pursuing the woman that I married and have loved for the last... If you say how long, I'm walking right out that door. Baby, there's no reason for us to have any embarrassment. And please, please don't end this evening on a sour note. No matter what the future has in store for us, you can't deny what we shared, what we shared all these years. The memories are sweet, baby. These years only made you more beautiful. Come on, let's have a drink. One drink, and only on one condition. What? We do not step one foot out of the living room. I do love you. And you love me too. BJ, please. I said that I love you. I don't love you the way that you mean. I don't understand. Come here. Now, I don't think that you realize what you've just gone through. At 10 years old, you were sexually abused by a man that your family loved. Your brother's just been thrown in jail. Now, most people would collapse from that. You're a very strong person. But just because you've talked about this and you brought it out in the open doesn't mean that it's over, and it doesn't mean that you're better. You need help. I need you, Warren. No, no! I mean, you have me as a friend. But the last thing you need right now is to jump into a relationship. You're not ready for it, BJ. You've got to deal with the past. Frank is dead. And how do you feel about him? I'll always hate him for what he did to our family. Well, then you've got to deal with that hate. You can't hide it. And if you... If we were to get involved in a relationship, the hate that you feel for Frank, well, you might turn it on me. I'd never do that. How could you think that I would do that? You're not Frank. And you're nothing like Frank. Hey, Jake. Jody, I don't think there's anything I can do for BJ at this point. In fact, I think my being around is probably the worst thing for her. So I'm going to accede to your wishes and stay away.
You here to get me out? I wish. So I understand you haven't been doing too well in here. What do they expect? Locking me up in a place for no reason. You don't know what it's like being caged up for something you didn't do. Actually, I know exactly what it's like. I was in the uh, cell uh, three doors down across the hall. You were? Yep, set up for something I didn't do, just like you. But the truth came out in the end, and it will for you, too. Well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Try not to make things worse. Make things worse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can anything get worse, Cruz? No one believes me. My dad can't do anything for me. BJ needs me. I can't get out to help her. I want to see Aurora. Damn it, I want to get out of here, Mr. Cruz. Sawyer, if it were up to me, you would be out of here. I'm sorry. The NIB took over your case. This Agent McCabe is in charge. He's a by-the-book kind of guy down to the fine print. Now, I haven't met the guy, but uh, from, from what I hear, he's... Well, what do you hear? <sighs> Agent Connor McCabe, NIB. I've heard a lot about you, too, Inspector Castillo. Are you sure you want coffee? I mean, I have a whole bottle of your favorite champagne still on ice. Oh, yes, I want the coffee. I think I've had enough champagne for one night. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Now, what are you doing? Just trying to get us a little comfortable, that's all. Right, right. And you think that I am going to fall for the low lights and the sun. <laughs> you remember. Oh, Sissy. How could I ever forget it? That beautiful night in Salzburg at the festival. It's Brahms, played by Israela Margali. I must have listened to this cassette a hundred times, and it sounds almost as lush right now. Where, where did you get it? I didn't know they released it. I found it on a trip to Europe. It's as beautiful right now, almost, as it was that night when we listened to it. You remember when we went down to the river? I'll never forget it. The lights on the water and the music. And the wine. And the mountains silhouetted by the moonlight. The air. The air was charged. It was electric. Electric with our love, sweetheart. And that was the first time that I realized that I could love so deeply. That it was such an incredible, all consuming feeling. It was the only thing that was important. Dance with me. No. Come on, please. We haven't heard that music in a long time. And we haven't danced to it in a long time. So come on, give me a break, huh? Good kid with no previous record, and his, uh, his parents are both cops. One of whom talked about whisking him out of town. <sighs> yeah, I know, but that, that was just talk, right? I mean, they're not going to do something like that. They know he's innocent. Well, I guess the judge wasn't convinced. You haven't been around, Castillo. The point of evidence points to a fact. Sawyer Walker shot Frank Goodman in cold blood. <clears throat> McCabe, I'm sure a lawman as astute as you has noticed that evidence can be misleading, and in this case, it misleads. Whoa. Looks like you're 
cheering section has arrived. I'll leave you alone to uh, commiserate. I see that you've met our illustrious Agent McCabe. What is it with that guy? I don't know, but I think I hate him. Cruz, I've got to see Sawyer. I realize it's very late, but I've got some very important questions to ask him. And he has to get my letter. I'd like to see him also. Um, I'm sorry, Aurora. I can let his attorney see him now, but you're going to have to wait for visiting hours tomorrow. I can't wait until tomorrow, Cruz. I need to see my brother now. Please, Cruz, I need to see him. BJ, you know you can't see him at this hour. I'm sorry. Charlie? Yeah? You take Mr. Capwell down to see his client, please? Sure, Cruz. Thanks. This way, Mr. Kent. Thank you. Thanks, Kent. I cannot believe that McCabe convinced the judge that Sawyer was a flight risk. He should have been released on his own recognizance. He would have been if my father hadn't said anything to the police. Aurora, I don't think Micah gave out any information maliciously. Why does it matter why he did it? Sawyer's so still locked up and it's not fair. Well, I can't argue with that. Cruz, please, everybody knows that Sawyer couldn't kill anyone. Keeping him behind bars is destroying our family. Please, there must be something you can do to help him. I need him. I need him more than I ever have. I know, I know. Please, Cruz. <sighs> You're gonna pay for this big time, Ted? <sighs> of course, that's not much of a threat until I get these handcuffs off. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and dial again. If you need assistance, please call your operator. I do need assistance, you idiot. I can't call the operator. Ted. I hate you! I'm glad you came back. Hello! I wonder what they're putting in this stuff now. Hello. I hope you're going to tell me that it was a robbery. Are you going to let me out of these things or are you just going to stand there and stare at me? What happened? The key is over there on the desk. Who handcuffed you to your bed, Angela? Well, like you said, it, it, it was a robbery. It was terrible. They handcuffed me, and then they, they, they took the... Uh, they, they took the... What? Uh, what did they take? Jewelry? I think not. For here is your jewelry box, and it is quite full. And here is your wallet with oodles of cash in it. Well, whoever they were... They weren't very thorough thieves, were they? Unlock these cuffs now, Warren. What did they take? All right. All right. So it wasn't a robbery. OK. It was someone's idea of a practical joke. And they tricked you into lying down and handcuffing you to the bed. Exactly. Now, do you please use that key? Do you know what I think? I'm sure you're gonna let me know. I think this is one of those sex things. You have a dirty mind, Warren. No, it's not one of those sex things. This doesn't have anything to do with sex. Although I guess there's no reason why I can't. You and I have never done anything like this before. Maybe you're in the mood to find out what it's like. I'm all yours. Can't exactly fight back. Nah. You know, I'm the one who always has to be handcuffed. The key, Warren. Right.
What? 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 Well, curiosity's kind of killed the cat. Who have you been playing naughty little games with, Angela? Hey, look who's here. Hi. What? What? What's, uh, wrong? What's wrong? I've, I've been a complete fool. What do you mean? Well, I've just, I've been preoccupied and, and I've forgotten about you. And I just, I just want to come over here and tell you that, and I'm telling you that it'll never happen again, okay? Hey, 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 it's not that serious. <laughs> You've just been working too hard, I No, understand. no, no, you don't, you don't understand. I've been a complete fool. <laughs> what are you He's... talking about? I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't have loved to see more of you. But, but... I, wait, I haven't told you how much that I care about mm -hmm. you and how much that you mean to me, you see. Yes, you have, no, many times. No, but not enough. Okay. <laughs> I just think that I realized, and it took this crazy, insane, ridiculous day for me to realize how much you mean to me. Okay, I'm gonna show you how much I love you. fan club is down to one member. Actually, uh, Sawyer has a lot more fans than you might know about, McCabe. Yeah? Mm. It smells like one of those towns where everyone takes care of their own. <sighs> I'm sorry you missed uh, visiting hours. You want to go get something to eat, maybe? Chris, please. I know that you would do anything to help Sawyer if you could. But you can help me. Please, I need to see him. You. You're sure this can't wait till tomorrow, EJ? I just really need to sort some things out with him. Please, Chris, just a few minutes. That's all I'm asking. Just a few minutes. Yeah, okay, well, I'm sure I could bend the rules just a little for fam. But uh, I can't give you a lot of time. Whatever you can manage. Be great. Charlie, I'm gonna go downstairs for a couple minutes to the cells you cover for me. Yeah, no problem, Curtis. for this moment, please. All right, just for this moment, but quickly, just quickly before I open my eyes. Be careful with your back. You got nothing to worry about. Forget about my back. Think of something else. sets his sights on something, he seldom does not. Don't give him all the credit. True. <sighs> I suppose we should go upstairs and try to make a baby. Again? We did that last night. It's a dirty job, Julie, but somebody has to do it. All right. Work. Work, 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 work. I don't want to lose you. Couldn't handle that. You are not gonna lose me.
Ted, what in the world is wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. God, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I didn't mean to do that. PJ. We've got five minutes. I want McKay to find out about this. I'll be back. Hey. Oh, it's not all that bad. Yeah. First class. Well, heck, if you could live in a drain pipe, I can manage here for a few more days. A few days? Yeah, I'm gonna get off, BJ. I didn't kill Frank. I know it. But all the evidence points to you. Well, even if I did kill the slime, no jury would convict me of it. Did you hear? It threw me off the baseball team. No. Yeah. I guess they thought it would be bad publicity, Evan. Some guy convicted of murder throwing pitches for him. I can't stand that all this is happening to you. Oh, come on. It's not your fault. No. It's Frank's fault. Everything bad that's happened to this family is Frank's fault. And Frank's dead now. And when I get out of here, I promise you, we are going to straighten things out. You'll be out of here tonight. No, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. I know it will. Where'd you get those? It doesn't matter. BJ, it does matter. You can get in trouble for this. You don't know what they can do to you for this. Well, they can't charge me with murder and try to put me away for the rest of my life. That's what they're trying to do to you, Sawyer. It won't happen. I told you that. How? Who's going to stop it? Mason will. How? You can't change the evidence, Sawyer. It's your word against all that evidence. The judge wouldn't even let you out on bail. How are you going to be able to explain everything away? I don't know. BJ, I can't let you do this. Sorry, listen to me. When you were born, Mom thought I was going to be jealous of you. So she told me that you were our baby. And I believed it. I've always believed that. I always tried to help Mom and Dad take care of you. Right now, this is the only thing I can do to help you. What if I get caught? You're not going to get caught. I was on my own for a year, and nobody found me until I wanted to be found. Once you get out of Santa Barbara, it'll be all right. Out in the alley, I left you a backpack with a change of clothes and your wallet and some money. It's not a lot, but it's all I can manage. I don't know, Beach. I do. Listen to me. I can cover what happened. They're not going to do anything to me. I'll stall so you can have a head start. Please just go. Listen, there's a door right around there. I know one of these keys will open it. Oh, BJ, I love you. But I don't know if I can do this. You have to. You can't let Frank ruin your life, too. Now go. Go, Sawyer, now. It's just the two of us, baby. There's nobody else in the world. Just like it was that night on the bank of the Saw's Edge. Just us. And the moon and the stars. Wait. What? Yes, you I can't do it. Yes, you can. You, can. you and I are. We are we are we are divorced. 
And what happened in Salzburg was a lifetime ago. And I have made a commitment to Ken. Baby, come on. You and Ken are just a passing fancy. You could never have what we had all those years. You know that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I can't... I can't hurt him like this. And you wouldn't love me if I could. tonight whatever it is making love like this is not going to solve the I problem I just have this feeling that my life is getting out of control and I can't stop it I'm, I just want I want to make sure that everything that we still have is still solid that you that you love me and that you're going to love me forever come here listen to me of course I love you and we're here together, and nothing, there's nothing to worry about. You're right. Good. Why don't we just start by holding each other? Hmm? No, I mean, I mean, you're right about, about making love like that. Uh, that's not the answer. But I know what is. What? Getting married. We are getting married. No. I mean, tonight. Let's get married right now. Are you gonna dr drink yourself into a drunken stupor now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, would you be a pal and, and take these cuffs off before you pass out? I guess this is your way of telling me you're not going to tell me who handcuffed you to the bed. Let your imagination run wild. <laughs> All right. Warren. Sorry. Oh, I, I got a little money on my way over here. I took a shortcut. You walked here? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. You know how I feel about drunk driving. Yeah, ever the upstanding citizen. Why are you drinking so much anyway? Because my life sucks. Look at Join the club. Really? Would you? Thank you. It's not my brand. All right, let me guess. You threw me away for her. And then BJ turned you down. Wrong. I turned her down. Okay, you guys, time is up. BJ? BJ, where's Sonia? BJ, what, what the hell is going on? Where is your brother?
Today at 3 on Donahue, who says experts know it all? Some say the best sex advice comes from the average Joe. Will you listen to a bartender, a fitness trainer, a waiter? Sex secrets shared by everyday people today at 3 on Donahue. And on Entertainment Tonight, The Quiet Beatles Speaks Out, a rare interview with George Harrison about his music comeback. The inside story on Entertainment Tonight at a special time tonight at 9.30. Now stay tuned for Days of Our Lives here only on NBC.